Yeah, first, I think um, uh, is very important to understand, as you rightly mentioned, that agriculture has been. Uh, in fact, if you ask me, I would say agriculture has been the victim <coughs> of uh, the process of globalization, the way we see it. Why I'm saying this is uh, would draw. Uh, uh, if I were to give you a little bit of background, is uh, uh, some 21 years back, to be very exact. There was a conference at the M. S. Swaminathan Foundation in Chennai, in which the then Vice President of the of Sustainable Development in World Bank, uh, I still recall his name, Ismail Saragelden, he made a, a presentation. In his presentation, he said that uh, in India, in the next 20 years, which means till the year 2015, the World Bank expects uh, the number of people who will be migrating from the rural to the urban areas, their number would be equal to the combined population of, uh, double the combined population of UK, France and Germany. Now, the World Bank had estimated that uh, 400 million people, because the combined population of three countries is 200 million, would be moving out of agriculture or rural areas into the urban areas by 2015. Now, we are already into 2016. Uh, the the uh, what is becoming clear from this uh, particular uh, example that I want to illustrate is that uh, it was part of a design. It was not a warning to us that uh, uh, you know be be watchful that so many people are going to migrate. It was actually a kind of a directive to us that you must uh, move these people out of uh, rural areas and they are primarily agriculture workers. Move them into the urban areas to become industrial workers. Now this is this is what globalization has done. This is how they have moved people from, uh, uh, in, in America, let's say, from agriculture, rural areas into the urban areas. This happened over the, the century, uh, but then subsequently in Europe and now in developing countries. And India is a classic example when they want to push people out of uh, rural areas into the urban areas. And the biggest casualty is agriculture. So it's part of a design. Now, this uh, part of a design also hits the livelihoods of about 3 billion people across the globe because 50% roughly is the population of farmers uh, across the globe. And uh, these people are now being driven out uh, of the rural areas. And this is happening not only in India. It happened earlier in China. Now it's also happening in, uh, in African countries. So this space uh, tells us very clearly that uh, the design was uh, uh, you know, perfected in a manner that uh, the economic growth uh, or the thinking that the economic growth will is only possible if you move people out from agriculture into the urban areas. Now, uh, why I feel uh, Trump uh, coming in would be a kind of a setback to this thinking is uh, because Trump has uh, very categorically been talking about uh, uh, protecting his workers, protecting the American jobs, and uh, which I think is the essence of uh, uh, or, or says goes against the essence of globalization. So, uh, in a way, if uh, uh, Trump takes a, a step, uh, and I'm sure America is a country which people would watch carefully, then, you know, the, if he starts protecting his job, then I think India will also learn to protect his job. And uh, the, so will Philippines learn to stop uh, protect his job. I think that is very important. That, I think, is the crux of the entire way the globalization is going from bad to worse. So this will be a very important and major uh, development. Uh, I hope so. Uh, Trump stands by what he is saying. And uh, that is also being watched by the, the international media. And I think primarily that's the reason why the media is very angry uh, with Trump. So they have been coming out with all kind of stories to, 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 to you know, ensure that he didn't win, but uh, eventually people voted for him.